Hello everyone. Today we will construct a quadrilateral when two adjacent sides and three angles are given. Let us take one example. We have been given five measurements over here. We have two adjacent sides and three angles. Let us start by, uh, by making a rough sketch of the quadrilateral PQRS. Now the good thing when two adjacent sides and three angles are given is that you can pick any side. Let us pick PQ for now. If you notice at Q we need to construct an angle of 100 degrees and then we can draw QR which is of 4.8 centimeters. Next we know the measurement of angle R which is 120 degrees. So we make an angle over here. Similarly since we have angle P equal to 75 degrees we construct this angle over here like this and wherever these two intersect that point will be our point S. Okay. So let's keep this as a reference and so over here our first step would be to draw the side PQ using pencil and ruler. So we'll take a pencil, a ruler and draw a line of 4 cm which is PQ. Now we need to make 100 degrees at Q. So since 100 is not a standard angle, we can draw this angle using protractor. So we construct an angle of 100 degree at Q and then we will make an arc of 4.8 centimeters. And wherever that arc will intersect, we call that point as R. So let us get one protector and this is our 100 degrees. So we'll just draw one line passing through 100 degree over here. Angle Q is 100 degrees. Now we need to open our compass to 4.8 centimeters. So let's get this compass, open it to 4.8, keep it at Q and make an arc. This point becomes R. We got a QR which is 4.8 centimeters. Now we have two options. We can either make 120 degrees first or 75 degrees first. Let us start with R. Now we will construct an angle of 120 degrees at R using compass. 120 degrees is standard angle, we can use compass for this. So very first thing, we place the needle over here and make an arc. Next we place the needle over here, we place compass over here and make one arc. Now this is keeping the same radii. So this is 60 degrees. Let's keep a compass over here again and make another arc using this, keeping the same radii. And this is 120 degrees. So let's just join these and angle R now is 120 degrees. Next step is to construct an angle of 75 degrees at P using compass such that when we make this angle it should intersect this angle of previous step at S. Now 75 degrees is a standard angle uh, all the angles which are multiples of 15, they can be drawn using compass easily. So let's get a compass. Again, make a similar arc like this. Then we'll again make two markings of 60 and 120. This is because 75 lies between 60 and 120. So we get 60, 120. These are the standard angles which you can easily draw using compass. Now, what we do is we basically need to bisect, we need to find a midway. So the midway of 60 and 120 is 90. So we will bisect these angles and make a 90 degree angle first. For that, let us keep our compass over here, make one arc. Next, keep your compass over here and make another arc, intersecting the previous arc. And now we can just draw a dotted line. This is our 90 degrees angle. So this one is 60, this point exactly is 90 and this is 120. We need a 75 degree angle. So 75 is the average of 90 and 60. It lies exactly between. So we can bisect these two angles. Now keep your compass at this point and make one arc. Let's do it with a different color. Okay. Next we keep a, keep a compass over here. This is 90 degree angle and then draw another arc. Wherever these two intersect, that is our 75 degree angle. So we got P, which is 75 degrees. And P, Q 
R S. This is the required quadrilateral.